Now, we've, we've got a nice surprise here, well, nice surprise for me. Now, we've got an old friend of ours, Martin Lamb, has just walked into the building. Now, Martin, uh, we've just been filming all about the plaza. Now, you know, you know, you, you can remember this as a single screen, can't you? And, and tell us something in nice days when it, when it was a major showcase theatre. I can remember that here. Uh, they had a film on here in 1966 with Dirk Bogart and it was Julie Christie's first film that she won an Oscar for. It was black and white widescreen and it was Darling and it broke every box office record in this building that had ever, that, that had ever been held in this building. The movie was transferred over to the classic windmill, the old windmill theatre. Another film they had here that broke all box office records was The Carpet Baggers. Harlow didn't do so well, George Peppard and Carol Baker. I can also remember the staircase leading up to the circle. They had an upper circle here as well. The box rate was on 90, a 90 degree rate. The projectors were like that and they were bolted to the front wall. Wow. And I can also remember that the chandeliers, the house lights, would come down. On, they were on motors and cables and they'd come down. Um, and then when the, when the interval was over, the, sh the house lights, the chandeliers would all go back up again and the, and the movie would start. That I can remember very well. Wow. This was a key theatre. Yes. And they had Vista Vision here, didn't they? Originally, this was the only theatre in the United Kingdom with true Vista Vision that was done for Cecil B. DeMille's The Ten Commandments. Mm -hmm. Rank copied Vista Vision, but it wasn't true Vista Vision. Oh. It, the, the only theatre equipped in the UK, once again, was the, was the Plaza Regent Street. Because mm, this was a Paramount Theatre, wasn't oh, it? Oh yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah, very much so. I mean, this used to take more money than the Empire at times, didn't it? You know, being yeah, the it was a cinema. showcase theatre. Yeah, where the Empire sometimes yeah. kept films on political reasons. Yeah, and don't forget, Eros was in a different place, and this end of Piccadilly was all, all <coughs> was very, very busy. Right. Do you remember the, the outside of the building? We've been up on the roof and seen the dome. Do you remember seeing the dome <coughs> actually lit up? Yes, it was lit up. And it looked really spectacular. Yeah, it did look spectacular. Right. In fact, I saw a film some time ago, I can't remember the name of the film, where a, bu a red bus went by the plaza in the 70s. It was a Mae West film that was filmed in the UK. I can't remember the name of it. Mm. It was the last film she ever made. Mm. And you saw the plaza in the, in the 60s. It looked a wonderful place wow. even then. Because you came to London in the 60s, didn't 1962. you? 1962. It must have been fantastic. I mean, it was just starting to swing and theatrical, all the cinemas that the were The Empire open. and the Odeon were as they were. I can remember, I never went in the Empire, but I can remember the Empire closing for its conversion. Mm -hmm. And I, I did see the Odeon as it was, before really? it was given the Zing treatment and ruined by the rank organisation. And yeah. they admitted they ruined it. Mm -hmm. you know, I can also remember the Odeon St Martin's Lane opening. Oh yes. And um, they had a floating screen, That's no right. masking. Yeah. The, the opening movie was Thoroughly Modern Millie and Sir John Davis, chairman of the rank organisation, walked in and he went bonkers because there were no tabs and no masking. Mm. People were sacked over there. Wow. But coming back to Plaza, you, you came in here when it was yeah, a single screen. Yeah, when it was screen. a single, single screen. And was it still like it, the decoration when it was just the theatre? It was all gilted, yeah. So they still had the stage on and yeah, the scene Yeah, everything, in. yeah. Nothing was oh. touched. Nothing was touched. Right. They had an awful lot of projections here. I don't know why, but they, they were continuously advertising for projections. I don't think it wasn't the fact they couldn't keep anybody. I think there was so much work on here, quite frankly. Uh, I don't know. I'm not quite sure. I've heard stories that it may not be in because they can't keep them. I don't know. I don't know who the chief was in that day, but I mean, Chief in those days ruled, Oh yeah, they? very much so. You know, and I only ever came up in the box once to look round and I was brought up there. And I yeah. always remember, the, as I said, the projectors were like that. Wow. Degree, right? Amazing. Yeah. But this place took big, big money. Of course. Big, yes. big, it was a key theatre. And even when it was twinned in the 70s, it was remember, the most expensive twin 